Hey you guys, welcome to Moody Misfits. In today's video, we are going to be making four different types of voodoo dolls with clay faces and uh, yeah, let's get started. These are the four shapes that I came up with for the video and this last one I'm going to be using sticks for the arms and the legs. That my stitch line isn't really close to the pattern and I'm off by a little bit. Um, not a big deal, it doesn't matter because once you flip it inside out it'll look perfect. So don't worry if you're not good with the sewing machine, just do your best and it'll be fine. Then. Next up we have to stuff our dolls. Uh, this part I think is really boring um, so <laughs> do something entertaining while you're stuffing the doll and then I have this huge stack that I have to do so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay next up we're going to make a little stain for the fabric bodies. I just used instant coffee and ground cinnamon. You can also use vanilla um, and it smells super good when you're done. But anyways, um, mine I think I made it too liquidy because the fabric kind of got these weird little lines in it after once it was dry. But uh, yeah, so make your yours kind of more thick and um, that might make it absorb nicer into the fabric. Next up, we're sculpting four different faces, and I'll be quiet for the next little bit. So, talk to you in a little while.
weren't looking, I made all these other faces. So uh, like usual, I like to paint everything black and then sponge on a bunch of different color. Um, after that, we can dry brush to make highlights of the, the raised parts of the clay. Looks really nice. So let's get to it. So to not bore you, off camera I attached all the faces to the bodies and now we are going to decorate with beads, string, um, embroidery, etc. So I bought all these cute little wood beads to decorate the dolls with, just kind of adding them randomly all over each one of them. Um, I'd suggest don't use plastic, it looks cheap, it doesn't really fit with the feel of the doll. So stick with wood, stick with natural things like feathers, you know, twine, string, uh, stuff like that. So where we stuffed the doll and then stitched it shut, that stitch line's ugly, so for that we're going to be covering it with fox fur. It's a cute detail to add to the doll and it's a nice way to cover up the ugly stitch marks. Originally these dolls with the arms sticking straight out, I was going to wrap wire around the arms and then kind of have a loop over the head and then that way you could hang them on the wall. But it looked really stupid visually so instead I bound their arms and tied them up which I think looks way better. So as you can see from this last shot here, the dolls aren't that dark. I want them a bit more grungy, so I'm just gonna water down some paint and just apply it all over the doll. Hopefully they'll dry a bit darker and yeah, not so clean looking. Hmm, regrets, they kind of look like cows. <laughs> please dry nice, please. So I'm not a fan of waiting to see if the, the cow paint will dry nicely. We're just going to do it to the rest of them. I'm sure it will look nice. So yeah, we're just going to do that. Maybe add some darker like black and then red uh, around the heart. And hopefully they do dry nice because I will probably ruin everything if they don't. Okay, woohoo. So they actually did dry a lot lighter than uh, how it looked a minute ago or a second ago. So a few didn't ruin everything. Um, but yeah, time to show you the finished results.
guys, that's it, that's all. Thanks for hanging out and see you in the next one.